What's up, YouTube? Here I am once again. I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII as a countdown to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm playing the remake, and this is part two. Last time we beat the Scorpion Guard and we blew up the reactor, finishing up chapter one. This time, I'm going to be a little bit more open with the chapters. You know, I'm just going to go until I feel like it's time to cut it short. Just a few thoughts on my last playthrough. So my dad actually watched the video, which is funny because I mentioned that he got me the demo years ago when I was younger. And uh, he mentioned he's not he's not like a big gamer, right? But he's watched me over the years, so he knows how games have evolved. And he's like, man, like the graphics are actually starting to catch up to the movies. Because back in the day, we watched Advent Children together when it came out. And so he's comparing it to that. And he's saying, hey... Like, the cutscenes actually look as good or better than the movie. And the gameplay, there's not a noticeable change between the cutscenes and the gameplay, right? That's part of the reason why this game was, like, so appealing to me, too, because of the production value, right? So the graphics were really good. Now, if anyone remembers, this game originally came out for the PS4. And they had a bunch of graphical issues later in the game. It almost seemed like they didn't complete certain textures, etc. Because, uh, I mean, that was just the limits of the hardware at the time on the PS4. What I was explaining to him was that if you notice, this game is set on a lot of corridors or small areas, right? So I told him, like, yeah, the graphics are really good, but they were limited with the amount of space they were able to work with. Now, Rebirth is going to be different because Rebirth, as we know, is going to be the open world section of Final Fantasy VII. So now it's, it's the hardware is going to be tested, the production value is going to be tested, and we're going to see if they can maintain that level of quality across a bigger, expansive world. Now, I think they're going to be able to achieve it, obviously, but who knows? We'll see. That's what we're all waiting to find out, right? Anyways, let's get to the game. Let's continue on, on this uh, countdown playthrough. We're in February. We got till the end of the month to get this done. Let's get it. And we're back. Final Fantasy VII Remake. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Like I said in the intro, this is the is part of the game where we get into these so corridors, far. right? Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. I'm soon. One thing, um, one thing I failed to mention in the intro, the voice acting for the game was really impressive for me too. Partly because of the localization, because you know, sometimes uh, when Japanese games get ad adapted to the U.S., just keep on. the dialogue, the dialogue can be really cringy. Things in Japanese don't translate well when you like take it to English language. But the localization team for this game, especially, uh, did a great job. So, I mean, sometimes you get stuff here and there that seems kind of off. But besides that, they did a great job. He's good to go. Fire in the hole! Sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson for anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. So this, this is the part of the game where you start to get an inkling that they're going to change some stuff about the story. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, because I'm here for you. 
to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! <laughs> you know, the funny thing about Barrett is that, uh... Like, obviously, that character was made in the 90s, you know? He's kind of a stereotype, I'm not gonna lie, but... You know, he's an endearing character, even though, you know, a little antiquated. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Cloud, up here! Look up! I said look up! Careful up here. This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. Man, I remember in the original game, the traversal in the overworld was a pain in the ass. Like getting on stairs and stuff like that. And it wasn't like readily apparent where you had to go either. Like they'll just have random stuff on screen. And because this it was like 3D models on a two-dimensional plane, it was like kinda awkward to move through. Could it be? But then... the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Yeah! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Some Naruto vibes. It's when you kind of realize they're, they're diverting from the original story a little bit. Which I know a lot of people weren't a fan of, but kind of appreciate. The expressway was damaged too? You are too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. 
In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell... <laughs> Short of the ground! Right now! My dad was watching me play, he's like, the game seems easy. I'm like, yo, relax. Beginning of the game, you know. Hey, more people. Let's go. Let's go. Super 
Come on. Bring it. Nice Any time now. Come on. No holding back. There we go. Shot you all in your back, bro. Talking about a close call. Don't hit that guy. Let's go. 
Nice. I ain't nobody. Nah, I'm chilling. Let's go. No holding back. Holding position. No Let's get rid of this guy. I destroyed that dude. HQ, this is Sector 8, Unit 2. Target is surrounded. Moving to secure. Wait! I know that. This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. You think he's a keeper? Been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, huh? What? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. I only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because...
because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <laughs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. Damn, but man. the folks down there <laughs> don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Yeah, that's what I say. If you don't like it, you know, you can just head out. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. You know, all that stuff was in the original game. All that, you know, the explanation of the world and stuff like that. But shouldn't Cloud know that since he's a soldier and worked for Shinra, you know? Obviously, they gotta tell us. No way. But uh, they gotta find an excuse to explain, right? Hot damn, we are good! Yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Right! Ah! <laughs> Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? <laughs> See you soon. Uh, At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. You know, this is going a little bit on a tangent, but um, I remember when I played Final Fantasy, I think it was, what, 15 was it? The one that was like the first open world one. I appreciated like the little quality of life places where you would just like go to a spot and there was a restaurant and they had a bunch of people eating there. It made the world feel a little bit more alive. I feel like they try to do that in this game. I think it has a lot of... Like, this game is like the culmination of everything Square has done for, the, like, the past 20 years. Including, like, the Kingdom Hearts series as well. You know, with the action um, elements. But I think it's like... The f it's like everything came together after 20 years into this game. That's that's how I feel. Because all of those games are lacking in something, whereas this did what they try to do but better, you know. And then when you add the Final Fantasy VII story, which is like one of the best stories they made, on top of that, then you know you get a high quality game essentially. I mean, look at all that steel work. You're trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures.
You made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? The guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. Return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes. Mm. Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... You know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. You know, there's a lot of walking and talking in this game. On first playthrough, not too bad. Second playthrough, it's a little bare, but should you get be a little enough slow. to get you through the night. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, at least fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. on him now and then to make sure he's okay can i ask you to do the same sure but cloud just tried to kill him what are you talking about <laughs> can you check on him he almost killed him come on man <laughs> all right let's open up the game now guys let's go I'm ready to start doing some stuff if you ever need an ear to bend i'll lend you mine it can be about anything even tifa what's she to you the granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Yeah, that's another thing that's impressive. All the side characters in the world are voice acted. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. 
I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you uh, say? Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. There's so many people Barrett's out making his rounds, too. Don't take your eyes off it. Cloud! Uh... Suppose, suppose I could take a look? Ice. Uh, I need that, maybe. Sure, why not? Eh, might get it for free later. Come on, man. Speed through the section. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. Man, I'm trying to fight some stuff. I ain't, I ain't trying to do all this. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. What's he just talking shit? Now you're trying to sell me some stuff? Do something about the monsters Come on, That's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we can really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone else. There we go. We got old Tifa on the party. That's good. Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. No way anyway, you we should prepare, safe, just in case. With a weapon of your own. Find the perfect weapon for huh? you and your needs. I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Damn! You gonna call me a bitch? Bro, you tweaking. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Damn. And be careful. Alright. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Get that. Damn, see, I knew I shouldn't have bought it. I... And there's our first Ooh. Go. So the dive kick is triangle. I know Tifa's like the strongest character, really. Wow, so that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Get ready. Whoa. <laughs> Deal with that. Level two, level three. Okay. Okay, let's go. Damn. These things don't last though. something good to fight I didn't get to test nothing got every last one too now the slums should be safe you guys are machines uh, good job meanwhile we told everyone we could about you 
So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe next time. Huh? No fair! Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat- I don't know about that. That story. Hold on. Heard there's a merc that- Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get it. <sighs> Man, in your line of work needs weapons, no? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else, just a look. Oh, 1600, bro. I spent it on that ice material. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Let's put the HP up. Okay. Triple slash pretty damn good, so. I would like you to set that assess materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine you. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous... And if you later decide that I am not worthy of... I will hold you to that. Excellent. Then we shall... Once you've completed your task... What do I have to do? That's two enemy types. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kelly, absolutely. Let's do it. I don't want to kill him too fast, though. All right. Shit. Deal with that. Let me handle it. All right. Let's do assess. Watch yourself. Taking over. Weakness ice. Okay. Enough. seen doom rats around hmm. what do you think should we wait you know this might be a waste of time let's head back to the store and touch things you know what i'm gonna use them nades i'm gonna see i'm gonna see what they do All the items you i don't think i ever use them in the when i play this game we just throw their nade out there see what happens On you. Okay, let's go. Now yeah. they am. There. Bring it. Alright, let's do this assess thing. It's on you. Hang back. No need to Going in. And 
triple slash. Don't stop now. Let's finish him. Come on. Boom. 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 Bro, Tifa's crazy. Was never in doubt. Seventh heaven. The new mercantile. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Do I want auto cure? Not really, bro. And catch dog. Maybe Shinra Mug gone fair. Last sighting was in scrap bullet. I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Go get him, bud. Do that, uh... Keep up the good work, Tifa. That dive move gives you so much ATV charge. It's crazy. Oh shit. What's up, Keep your cool. No need to work. Get ready. Too easy. Bring it. That's it. Oh. Hit it with that. I got it. Let's go. Wow, I was whooping his ass, man. I went somewhere. Hey, over here, Tifa. Hey, Cloud. I drove the ham into the area up ahead. He's pissed, so make sure you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your cool. No need to work. Here we go. Woo! We're gonna hit it with fire. It's on you. No escape. Some, some, some of this. Let's go. Whoop in his ass. Hit it with fire again. Oh my god. What you doing, bro? Boom. Sorry, Tifa. What the hell is wrong with me? Sorry, Tifa. I just had to go aggro, you know? I ain't got time to be healing. We owe you one. Is that the main? Did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats. Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Okay. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's going on? Why are you Somebody do me like went that? and stole some blasting music from the Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. Because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do.
Well, I'm gonna change uh, from Braver to Triple Slash. Don't steal blasting agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You've got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. I swear. Oh. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers, and I'll figure something out. Distract? Why you just mark them, bro? What are you talking about, distract? Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Is that, is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the hook! <laughs> You're doing. Here we go. Bro, I don't even know why they pretended to do anything else. Keep it together. Let me handle this. You finish him off. Oh shit. What? Yeah. He's a talker. Mm -hmm. huh? Whoa, whoa! No! Oh, you're not gonna hold them! Wait! Don't, don't do it, man! <laughs> you wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but it's fine. Well, Cloud was gonna mark him, bro. And them? He don't play. No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. But what's she talking about? She just marked like three people. We need to go before they wake up. Oh, so he's just gonna pretend like, like they're alive. Okay, all right, okay. I, I'm, I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So... What do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another drive? Alright, so I gotta take a break. I gotta hit the gym. But I will be back to finish up these missions. Then we'll continue with the story, okay?